This morning, President Obama is calling Mario Cuomo, quote, an unflinching voice for tolerance, inclusiveness, fairness, dignity, and opportunity. The former New York governor died at age 82 Thursday, the same day his son began his new term as governor. Cuomo was a child of immigrants who became one of America's leading liberal voices in the 1980s. He couldn't be here uh, physically today, my father. But my father is in this room. Just six hours after New York Governor Andrew Cuomo paid homage to his father in his second inaugural speech, the family announced that its patriarch, Mario Cuomo, had died. Born in Queens in 1932, Cuomo excelled at baseball and was drafted by the Pittsburgh Pirates. Derailed by an injury, Cuomo returned to school, earning a law degree, which opened the door for a career in public service. In 1982, he won his first term as New York State Governor. I will faithfully perform the duties of the office. Cuomo quickly rose to become a star within the Democratic Party. A gifted orator, he delivered the keynote speech at the 1984 Democratic National Convention. In many ways, we are a shining city on a hill. But the hard truth is that not everyone is sharing in this city's splendor and glory. A shining city is perhaps all the president sees from the portico of the White House and the veranda of his ranch, where everyone seems to be doing well. There is despair, Mr. President, in the faces that you don't see, in the places that you don't visit, in your shining city. The publicity thrust Cuomo into the national spotlight and fueled speculation about a future run for president. But the harsh realities of campaigning held Cuomo back, as he told CBS News in a 60 Minutes interview. There's something about the ordeal of the campaign. There's something about the difficulty of it, the impediments that are set up, the excruciating quality of it, on the, the attack on the psyche. Cuomo served three terms as governor and went into private practice after he lost re-election in 1994. His final appearance was in November, celebrating his son's election night victory and a family legacy that continues to live on. You know, our thoughts are with his family. He was married to his wife, Matilda, for more than 60 years, five mm -hmm. kids, 14 grandkids. You know, his father came from Salerno, Italy, started off, uh, digging sewers and then had the grocery store in Jamaica, Queens, and he gave a lot of credit to his father for teaching him the values that he brought to the state of New York. If you looked at the cover of the New York Times, too, I thought it was so interesting. Did you notice there was a picture of his father and then the article about his son right next to it, and it yeah. said during that inaugural yep. speech, mm -hmm. a very similar style to his dad also. Yeah. The extraordinary legacy.